Today, I'm walking you through a simple expense analysis in Excel. We're gonna download some credit card data, import it and clean it in Excel, turn it into a chart, and at the end, I'll show you how easy it is to update this file we're building on a monthly basis. But before we go any further, leave a comment and let me know how else can I help you in Excel. And while you're at it, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. And let's get started right now. So the first step is you've got to download some data from your credit card provider. I use American Express. This is how it works here. So I'm going to click on statements and activity. And then I'm going to do a custom date range. And in this example, I'm just going to do the month of January. Click on search. And this little button here is the download your transactions. And I want it as an Excel file. And I'm going to click on download. As you can see here, it's downloading up here. And now I'm going to jump over to Excel to import that data that we just downloaded. I'm going to go to data, get data from file and select from folder. So I put it in this Amex folder here and I'm just going to press open. And so this is the file that we're trying to import the folder. In fact, that we're trying to import. And I'm gonna click transform data. There's a lot of different columns here that Excel's returning. I just need content. I'm gonna press control and select name. And then I'm gonna go up here to remove columns and remove the other columns. We do need to add a column. So to do that, I'm gonna click add column, custom column. And I'm gonna call that import and then I'm gonna enter a custom column formula, which is gonna be excel.workbook. So when I see that here, I'll press enter to automatically fill it out. Open parentheses and double click, we want content. So we're gonna populate that there with the double click, close parentheses and click okay. So this looks good. To move ahead, I'm gonna click this drop down here and we only want data. So I'm gonna unselect all these other columns, just select data and click OK. Back to that same dropdown. These are the columns in that data set that we just downloaded. Excel's not properly recognizing them. That's OK, so we're gonna just click OK. Here's the data that we just downloaded. And as we make steps, notice that Excel records those steps in the Applied Steps section of Power Query. And every time we add a new file to that folder, it's gonna apply these same steps. There's only a handful of data that I want here. So I'm going to click on this column, press control and click on description, control amount. And then over here, I want this category, control category. Go up here to home, remove columns and remove other columns. So now I've just got those columns that I want in our analysis and you notice the real column headers don't appear until row seven here. So there's six rows we want to get rid of. To get rid of those, go to remove rows, remove top rows, and enter the amount you want to get rid of and click OK. Likewise, there's 11 rows down here that we want to get rid of. And we can repeat a similar process, remove rows, remove bottom rows, 11 rows as well. This first row here, are the column headers that we want to use. And I'm going to click the button that says use first row as column headers. So that populates those headers. That looks good. The last thing that I'm going to do is I don't want to see the payment that I made. So I'm going to click on description and just unselect auto pay payment here and click OK. This data is looking really nice. So I'm going to click close and load to. I'm going to close and load that to a pivot chart and click OK. So I'm gonna drag date to the legend. I'm gonna drag amount to the values. And I don't want a bar chart, I want a line chart. So I'm gonna go up here to format, actually design, change that chart type to a line chart, click okay. And then I think I'm gonna to need to switch the row and column. And that's more what I'm looking for here a line chart of my spend by day. Now this looks great, but what about next month when you wanna update your simple expense analysis? Well, it's pretty easy. So I'm gonna jump back to that folder, that Amex folder, and I've already downloaded 
the next month's data here. So I'm just going to click on that and make sure to drag it into that Amex folder that we imported using Power Query. Jump back over to Excel, click into your, pot, your pivot table, pivot table analyze, and refresh. And as you can see here, the February data is instantly imported into the file. It looks like there's some additional cleanup that we need to do, but we can save that for next time. If you're still here, you might wanna take a look at this video where I use Excel to identify recurring subscriptions in your credit card data. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.